name is Alan from Presidium and in this short video I'm going to show you how to run decision trees with an SPSS statistics. Decision trees are a great machine learning technique that allow you to take lots of pieces of information and explore their relationships with a target variable or event of interest. This will allow you to hone in on target groups instead of looking at a mass marketing style approach or when you have time or resource constraints. At the end of the video you'll find details for other videos similar to this one as well as seeing social media information for Presidium. Thank you. The data we are using for this example is called telco.sav. It is available within the samples folder of your SPSS installation. This data contains information about customers such as the length of time that they've been a customer, where they are from, their age, their gender, what their income is, and some additional information about the products or services that they use. What we are interested in though, is whether or not the customer has switched providers within the last month. To perform an analysis, we're going to use a decision tree. This is a great multivariate technique which allows you to examine multiple complex relationships very quickly. The churn variable indicating whether the customer has switched their provider in the last month is our primary variable of interest. We would like to know what factors, among all the other pieces of information available to us, have an influence on the customer's decision to switch provider. Understanding this can help us to identify current customers who may be at risk of switching providers. Decision trees are a great technique to use lots of different variables all at the same time, and the algorithms will hone in on the ones which are the most important. Of the methods available to us, we are going to use the CHADE method. CHADE stands for Chi-Square Automatic Interaction Detection. The CHADE algorithm is especially useful if you think you may have some missing data and would like to treat it as carefully as possible. Upon running the procedure, the primary output is a descriptive decision tree. Within this decision tree, you can start to have a look at what the key pieces of information are that determine whether a customer is likely to switch providers or not. Let's take a closer look. The most important piece of information that was considered is the months of service. If they are at the low end of the scale, for example here within six months, the customer is more likely to switch than not. At the higher end of the scale, for customers who have been a customer more than 66 months, they are more likely to remain than to switch. Within each of these month bands, based on uh, the bands based on months of service, we can see that the next most important information is here equipment rental, and here internet, whether they have internet services as part of their plan or not. This provides a very succinct visual representation of what the most important pieces of information are determining whether a customer will switch their provider or not. We have also been provided with this summary table, which actually informs us of how well we can use this model to predict customers that are likely to switch providers in the coming months. In this example, we are 77.1% accurate at making such predictions. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more information, videos and other resources on our website. You can also subscribe to our newsletter and YouTube channel and follow us on social media so you'll never miss a thing.